<laughs> I am not very good at scout, as moving fast melts my brain enough to miss most of my shots. And because of it, I usually prefer weapons that have either faster reload speed or more clips. So you can guess how I feel about force and nature. No offense to the guy who wanted to hear my talks on this weapon, but I hate this thing, and I want to tell you all why. So quickly again, the stats even though most of you already know how it works. This weapon fires 50% faster, deals 10% less damage but has more pellets per shot, knocks back you and your enemies and finally, you only have two shots in your clip. Let's get things straight. Fan is a side trait that is never meant to be equal to scatter gun, and that is fine. As I like the idea, as it's like the super shotgun in Doomverse has less sustainability but offers higher burst damage, as the 10% damage penalty doesn't really affect the gun in any way because you shoot more pellets. But there's this one classic case of one stat ruining the entire weapon called knockback. You can launch yourself by firing this weapon when you're airborne to any direction you want, meaning it opens more options for mobility, but it also means you need to stay on the ground while shooting, otherwise you will end up just fucking yourself over. I am too embarrassed to even tell how many times I managed to kill myself with this knockback, just because I was trying to do some cool jumps or try to kill the enemy but because of muscle memory kicking in, I jump at the same time. But when I am not killing myself with this thing, the weapon deals quite nice burst damage as you can very easily push at most enemies in 0.3 seconds. When that works, it is pretty satisfying and feels like a proper double barrel shotgun. That is if you don't launch them away from you. A lot of people have accepted that this isn't really good for dealing damage but it's good for mobility. If only there were better ways of reaching higher places without sacrificing your primary weapon dealer. Oh wait! There is, and it's called the finger and it's actually good. You don't even need to look at the ground to launch yourself, plus you can use any other primary with it. Or atomizer as it replaces your melee slot so you can use primary and secondary for other purposes. Now this isn't really the weapon's fault, but considering the climate where we live in, where every second game is infested with a cedar, they can use double tap seed to essentially one shot everyone with this weapon, but luckily it's easy to notice so they tend to get kicked fairly quickly when they're called out. I've been shit talking about this weapon the entire video, but I want to at least highlight one use out of it. This weapon is pretty decent with environmental kills. Launching people off cliffs is very satisfying and it's hilarious if you manage to lure people near the edge and then launch them to their doom. Pyro is still better at this just because he has fighter pushback range, but hey, any environmental kill is worth it. Anyway, this weapon is just not for me. As if I want a weapon that deals high burst damage, I will do Soda Popper as that weapon is actually really good, as it doesn't push your enemies away, reloads 25% faster, plus it has that hype where you can jump up to 5 times midair. And when you use the other mobility boosting weapons, this weapon is just a lot more fun to use. But if you want a funny gimmick weapon while wanting to send your opponents down to their dooms, then maybe Force and Nature is for you. But for me, I rather stick with the shotgun with Fusa that can strap under it, as it's surprisingly more fun to use. Anyway, thank you for watching, do leave a like if you want to see more TF2 stuff, and have a nice day.